What is going on, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video. And in this one, another New England Patriots player has decided to opt out of the 2020 season because of the pandemic that is going around, of course, universally around the world. Uh, of course, this is not the only Patriots player that has done so. We also had uh, Najee Torin. He opted out. We had Danny Vitale. He's another player that opted out. And we have many other players opting out that will be in separate videos. Now, the thing about Marcus Cannon is this is something he was going back and forth with for a while. He didn't know if he wanted to opt out of the season. He didn't know if he wanted to play or if it was something that he had to do just because of health reasons. But ultimately, it came down to the point where he said, I, I, I got to do this. And I think before anybody gets mad at Marcus Cannon, he is one of at least the only players that has just a real, a real reason, a life-threatening reason to the point where it makes sense that he cannot play. This is to the reason, the fact that he had battled non-Hodgkin's lymphoma earlier on in his pro career. Because of this, he's more prone to getting the virus. And also, if he does, it is going to be a lot worse for him compared to how it would be to other people because of what he had to do with that non-Hodgkin's lymphoma earlier on in his life. Now, of course, this definitely is not what you want. You never want your starting right tackle to be out the door. You know, the New England Patriots were a team that really last season got a lot of injuries along their offensive line, and that, that, that's just not what they want. That's not what any team wants, but especially the New England Patriots, a team that has a lot of question marks and a team that is still heavily trying to rely on their running game. Cannon, of course, has been the New England Patriots' primary starter at right tackle since 2016. He's 32, completely up there in age, but he started 15 games this past season, although he did miss one with that shoulder injury. This is a major blow to New England's offensive line. When you lose your starter, especially at the tackle position, there's nothing you can say to get around the fact that losing your starter, it's a complete blow. Then you mix in the fact that the Patriots also lost Dante Scarnecchia. The thing with Marcus Cannon, though, is, is the fact that, look, he is up there in age. And the big thing about Cannon is he is very, very injury prone. This is a guy who has struggled, especially over the past few years, to, to really stay healthy. So he's not necessarily a guy that you can rely on. So again, while this does suck to the New England Patriots offensive line. There are definitely other players on the offensive line that could have been a, uh, a worse departure for the New England Patriots. Now, just like I mentioned in my video about Danny Vitale and how he opt out, I'm going to say this in every single video I make for players that are opting out uh, for the 2020 season, and that is players that opt out, their contract will get moved into the following season. But also, of course, the New England Patriots, because these players aren't going to be playing with them in the 2020 season, they actually get an open roster spot. So the New England Patriots were at a point where they had to release several players, several of them to get down to the 80-man roster because it went from 90 to 80. And now the New England Patriots are sitting at uh, 75 or a little bit lower than that in personnel. So definitely expect some roster moves to occur. The other part to this is the fact that the New England Patriots also get that cap back from Cannon. And I think that is the great part here. You know, usually if a player is out for the season due to injury or, or, or whatnot, that doesn't help the cap situation out at all. You still got to pay them. But because of this, because they're deciding to opt out, the New England Patriots actually get that money back that that player was owned. And the thing here about Marcus Cannon is that he was due, what, around $6 million. He was due a big, big portion of money. And that was the big reason that we were all kind of saying, even prior to this whole virus going around and players opting out, that Marcus Cannon could be a potential guy the New England Patriots cut or trade because he's just not really worth that $6 million that he's making. So luckily enough for the New England Patriots, they get that money back. Now, what do the New England Patriots do to replenish the loss of Marcus Cannon? It's going to be a very interesting aspect here 
The good thing here is the fact that, and this is something I've said all offseason, I love that the New England Patriots have added some depth. There are several, several ways they can go here. Um, I'm going to name a couple, but I don't feel like I want to go crazy in depth just because I'm thinking I'm going to make a video on just how can the Patriots replace all of these players opting out uh, because I think that's just a big question, and I'm going to go player by player and just kind of say, look, how do they navigate losing this guy? But I think for Marcus Cannon, there's a lot of concern, uh, but... They have the ability to be able to replace him, and they have the ability to do it with a more athletic, agile, and younger guy. Of course, the New England Patriots have Cordy Cunningham, who they traded for, uh, I believe it was, last offseason. They have 2019 third-round pick Yanni Kajust, who he did miss all of last season with injury, so that is highly concerning, but I would say that he's probably the best best scenario for to uh, to take over there at right tackle I think that he's very talented and of course they also have this past year's draft in six rounder Justin Heron the New England Pages could also be in a sense where they end up moving Joe Tooney to that tackle position. He has experience playing all over the offensive line. We saw him at left tackle a little bit this past season with all the troubles they had at left tackle. He could be a guy they potentially put there and just move another player to guard. Or the New England Patriots could do something where they bring in a familiar face or just a veteran. You know, you already have guys like Lejean Waddle, Marshall Newhouse, Jared Valdeer, guys who the New England Patriots are familiar with, guys who have been in the system, so they kind of know what to expect from these guys. All three free agents the New England Patriots could bring back. Of course, there are other NFL free agents at that position offensively that the New England Patriots could pick up. But in my own personal opinion, if the New England Patriots don't go with a guy that is already in-house, already within that roster then I would expect them to go with a free agent, a veteran free agent that they have experience with. To me, my personal favorite would either be Legion Waddle or Jared Valdir, but I think Waddle would make the most sense. But that is going to be it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on Marcus Cannon opting out of the 2020 season? Let me know what you're feeling in the comments section below. Make sure you guys share this video with everyone you know so that we can go to the Patriots Global Family. Give this video a huge thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already for all of your New England Patriots news. But like always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.